Hi, I'm Brad, and I love When Calls the Heart. Hi, I'm Jax, and I like When Calls the Heart. I'm Dan, and I despise When Calls the Heart, and this is the Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Deck the Hallmark, it's this podcast. Brandon and friends host this podcast. We hope you like this jolly podcast. It's officially, what are you doing? Wah, 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 wah. It's officially mid-October. Man, man, you can smell it. You can. You can feel it. The leaves are finally starting to not all be green here we in South Carolina. We are just a little over a week away from Christmas movies. That marathon's in 10 days, you're right. Yeah. What's going to be really fun it's is we're going to get to a pretty like important part of this season and mm-hmm. then be like, mm, let's take a couple months off. We are. And then we'll, we'll hey. do it all again in That's January. Right. So gonna, Yeah, we're going to get to 10, and then whatever happens in those last two episodes, we'll get to in January. We'll never know. So, like, we've waited this long to figure but out who she needs picks. a break. The flights have started to become a little bit taxing. Yeah, yeah, got, they're a little... T- that's why I can't you? make it back for the marathon, but yeah. yeah. yeah I do have two more in Okay, yeah, for 2022. Yeah, for 2022. Great. 2022. And then in 2023, we'll regroup. We'll regroup. Yeah, I like that Give a you a couple months off. I like yeah. that plan. I yeah. love that plan. Ted said he's going to miss our regular dinners, though, and I yeah. will, too. Are you? Yeah, what he do you might guys convince talk me about in New York. Well, I'm still workshopping jokes with him, and he really seems to enjoy that. that. Yeah. yeah. And um, he's really getting into, he thinks he wants to get into improv. Oh. So I've been letting him talk oh, about his passions wow. and wow. things like that. Yeah. So Have you ever done improv? Like uh, um, comedy? Uh, I, 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 you've I, done improv. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not very good at it and I don't enjoy it. I prefer. <laughs> I know you've done like uh, improv like shows though, right? Like at, like at, like not comedy. Like there's like, don't haven't you done things where like we're doing a show and we're coming up with it on the oh, spot? Oh, I'm in an interactive active yes, show that. which yes, yes that is fine because i'm a character and right. i don't it's there's no pressure to be funny haha yeah but you're actually just playing the truth of it which i guess that's what all improv is but i think <laughs> but that you have to kind of find your own truth you have to find your own truth yeah right. we exactly. don't know anything about improv we we I rigidly no we rigidly structure each and every one of these <laughs> yeah like there's there was a schedule where we met ted's brother fred like that was all Jax, you were we part of these it. meetings. We like were, you, yeah, yeah, we rehearsed those bits. Yeah, this is all a big part of us making sure we get an organized, consistent experience from Deck to Hallmark. That's exactly right. Well, that's who we are. We are organized people who very uh, often know exactly what we're going to do and plan it out to a T. Very often. That's Occasionally we don't, but most of the time we do. Most of the time we do. That's exactly right. Um, Rig, are you there, buddy? Oh, I'm here. How There's are no you, pal? Merry Christmas. Amanda, you doing all right today? No, is it so. not? It's you. still Jack. Oh, is that huh? me? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Hey, Rick. <laughs> yeah. Am I supposed to pretend to be Panda? Yeah, we thank you for finally part. speaking to me. That's very <laughs> kind of you. Um, I've been here the whole time. Yeah, I think he literally still... sits under a Fitzy sign and can't figure out that I'm a part of the show. I think that he still thinks bit. that you are uh, Panda. And well, so, there's, there's the, the boys. The boys with the Dan the boys. and Panda. That's right. It's That's just easier to roll with it. Yeah, so, yeah, he's easy to roll, roll with it. it. Yeah, things are well though, Brad. Thanks for asking. Any any uh, big Halloween plans? At oh, Fitzies? you know, we do the normal. The normal. What's the normal? You know, you dress up, you go ask for candy. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. What are you being this year, Brad? Uh, I usually just go with whatever my son wants me to be. So it could be, uh, uh, still things are up in the air. I could be Miles Morales again, uh, from last year where I just put on a, a, a costume. Uh, there also has uh, been some Encanto talk. Uh, okay. maybe I'll be Bruno. Yeah. I yeah, don't yeah, know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's uh, or I could be just dad. I don't know. It's whatever he wants. I try my best to never dress up. I know. Really? You yeah, yeah, yeah. I w- I'm fine with my kids dressing up. And he doesn't like time. his kids. So no, I love my kids. <laughs> oh. I just like you dress up and I'll take you around to trick or treat. That's how this transaction works. I don't need to get involved in the dress up process. Mm-hmm. Like I'm good. Like mm-hmm. I'm an adult. I you can... don't do like a family costume. No, 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 no. No no, 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 no. I think my wife would be down for that. I just am like, why are we, this is a lot, a lot to do yeah. when we can just, and my kid changes what he wants to be for Halloween every week. Wow. But by now we've had to lock in one. By now we've had to lock in one. Yeah. But like all throughout the year, he'll be like, dad, I want to be this for Halloween. And then it'll be something else the next day. And it's hard to keep track after a while. Yeah. It's so, so magical getting to dress up for Halloween. It is magical. It you, is. A, you what, still dress up for Halloween? Oh, yes. <laughs> they do course. three costumes a year. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Why three? Well, I do one with the little girl that I used to babysit for. We do like a costume together. Then I usually do one with my sister. And then I usually do one that it might be a little um, specific, like a character that I liked that year. Yeah, from like The Princess Bride or something. (laughs) <laughs> like right. Mary Catherine Gallagher. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Princess Superstar. Friday I haven't seen yet. So do you like do you go on a Halloween circuit? Like why do you have so many? Yeah, <laughs> I try and go to a few parties. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now what did you do like the uh, like in twenty twenty when there weren't parties? Did you still do three costumes? Like what um, was your co- Oh yeah, for that adapt? Halloween I, I decided to um get COVID. So. Oh, uh, I, I was, fair. I was at yeah. home. Yeah. That's a was good. that a cost, like a costume? Like was, you uh, were like the big cell, like the big, at- the big red guy. <laughs> hey, <laughs> big SARS code. People love that. Yeah, People love that. It really, it was, it's it topical. Really, really People great. love topical yeah. stuff. Uh, guys, are you ready to talk about when goes the heart season eight, episode nine born ready. Sure. Are. This one is called you betcha. Uh, cuddle up a little closer. Lovely mine. <laughs> Um, it's pre- you betcha. Just be honest. It's you betcha. I th- it says it's pre-wedding jitters. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, That's you betcha. Right. Six and one, half dozen the other. That's exactly right. Uh, and it went a little something like this. Um, Elizabeth starts the episode by uh, playing with a uh, Mountie doll and talking. So everything's going well. Normal. Uh, Roseberry and Elizabeth, they're talking about the wedding. Everybody is very excited about the wedding. Ned and Florence's wedding. Yeah, Aren't exactly, we all? That's exactly right. Now, Rosemary, um, she's talking about, uh, she's talking to to Elizabeth, and Elizabeth gets like a little, I don't know, they're not they're not uh, uh, hitting on all cylinders over there. And uh, Rosemary uh, upsets Elizabeth. She storms off. Guys, they're not hitting on all cylinders. They're not hitting on all cylinders. That's what I'm trying to say. They're not clicking on all cylinders? No, they're, they're not, not hitting. Well, uh, Rosemary basically says, like, it wasn't, you know, his fault. You should be fine. Right. And Elizabeth gets mad. They're not hitting on all cylinders. Yeah. They're not That's hitting on all cylinders. Yeah. They're not hitting on all cylinders. Yeah. Uh, Lee and Je- uh, Jesse are having breakfast, and Lee's just happy that, you know, uh, Clara and Jesse are doing a little bit better, but then Clara walks up, and I don't know. Jesse's like, everything's great, and it's mainly because Pastor Joseph gave me some advice, and Lee feels a little bit sad because he's like, my advice isn't good enough for him anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it's Florence, a great Lee impression. Thank you. Florence still hasn't found a dress that she likes, and this is uh, upsetting because the wedding is sooner than I thought that it was going to be. Uh, it's, I this thought, ep- it's today. Yeah, it's today. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I didn't realize that. Uh, and so they're like, well, we'll call Dottie. We'll call Dottie, see if we can get some options from Union City, a little more classy uh, at Union City. Uh, Bill is devoted in this episode to figuring out the case of the stolen car. Yeah, yes, he, he is. is. He uh, is locked into a he, case now, that he has made up himself. Apparently, <laughs> the results are back from the lab, and they couldn't figure it the out. The lab couldn't do it, but, but Bill's on the case. But Bill is on the case, and Nathan is like, you know you don't have to do this, right? Like, we, <laughs> You don't work the in guy, any official capacity. We know whose car this is. That guy's coming to pick it That's up. That's right. Like, it's done. We're good. Everything, everything is, is awesome. Yeah, everything is awesome. Everything is cool when you're part of a That's team. Right. Uh, Jack, Luke, you know that reference. This is From the a team. No. Darn it. It's uh, from the uh, Lego movie. Another good one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a just right right up your alley. Um uh, Elizabeth says, finds Allie. Allie's a little bit more chipper. She uh, talked to Lucas, and he, uh, Lucas assured her that everything's going to work out between him and Nathan. So uh, she th- she's on the up and up. Uh, Christopher is talking to his dad, Gowan, Daddy Gowan, uh, about how he misses Rachel. And he's like, listen, man, like, loves you gotta you gotta fight for love sometimes go go for it pal um fiona and, and molly are helping florence with her hair uh for the party tonight they're uh, gonna do a, a bachelor bachelorette party and uh florence wants something that's like something that's real good something that's real good uh our good our good friend frickham wants to get a haircut as well and frickham, uh, frickham. frickham and uh they're like no 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 it's ladies day so <laughs> The days are already. Yeah, this this mess. whole system is falling yeah. apart. Yeah, but this system is. It's all, not Ladies Day though. They're they're working. That's on what I'm saying. Is, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's they're lying. They're already throwing the system out the window. Well, Frickham's really there for Fiona though. Yeah. I mean, come on, accurate. 
Um, Lucas uh, goes to talk to Elizabeth and uh, to talk about the conversation with Allie. And Elizabeth uh, basically, uh, she's like, I know what you promised. Uh, are you, is this actually going to happen? And she's like, yeah, uh, I don't want to be caught in the middle of this. Caught in the middle with you. And no. Uh, no. no? It's stuck in the middle with you. Caught in the middle. Yeah. Caught Hitting in the middle. on all cylinders. Hitting on all cylinders. Um, and then she can tell that um, she's still uh, bothered by the whole uh, Nathan thing. And he's like, if you want me to go, you know, give him <laughs> to try to find out why he kept this from you, I'm your guy. And she's like, no, no, no. Don't, don't worry about that. Uh, Lee goes to talk to Joseph. And Joseph uh, says, I will be the pastor. And uh, him and Lee go for a wagon ride to talk things over. <laughs> it's great. I mean, who doesn't want, who doesn't want that? Um, Me. <laughs> Faith and Carson are continuing to talk about the future. And I got to be honest with you, just don't care. Uh, I feel like they've had the same conversation at this point yeah. about a dozen times. Yeah. Uh, so what what can you do? Uh, Bill, uh, they, they found out that the basically who took the, the, the ride has basically said, I took the ride. And he's like, I don't. I don't know. I'm going to still try to figure this out. So basically, someone has come forward and said, I took the car. Yeah. And he's like, oh, uh, not enough for me. I'm not buying it. It was on the case. That's exactly right. Um, so the big the big to do in this episode is the, uh, the bachelor bachelorette party. And now both of these parties are going to be taking place. Boy, we at don't the same want a repeat time. of the Jesse Clara fiasco. No. From what feels like years ago. That's exactly right. But no, I no, think no. was a day ago. Um, I'm so not sure. both of these are happening at the saloon at the same time. Classic. We did it again. They've done a, a corner that's like very nice for the women. And I actually for a while didn't think that it was the saloon because it looked like <laughs> so different. Uh, but nevertheless, they're having a party and everyone's bored once again at Ned's party because Ned just wants to play poker. Apparently the guys tonight don't like poker. Every yeah. other night they do like That's poker. Right. Tonight, tonight no. they don't like poker. So they all end up joining the same party yes. uh, together, and they're playing games and whatnot. And uh, is it Fiona, Fiona that brings, brings the in game? a game from San Francisco? That's a little, it's a little risque. It's a little, a little bit. It's a little bit risque. That's exactly right. Oh and so my. they hold hands basically, and you're supposed to like go up, <laughs> this is grab, hey, having, walk down the line. My hell is having Brand describe. How things work. They <laughs> grab the hand. They blindfolded, <laughs> and they go down the line and they grab the hands of everybody in town of the opposite sex, and they have to figure out which one belongs to the hands of their love. Who they're supposed to end up with? The hands of their love. She never says the hands of your love. Well, up uh, first is uh, is Florence. And the Florence. machines. And she goes down, immediately finds Ned's hands and says, this is the hands of my love. <laughs> so Fiona is like, who should go next? Oh, uh, someone whose love life is <laughs> really in up shambles. in the air right now. Uh, Elizabeth, you're up. And Elizabeth is like, no. And they're like, do it. Do it. And I feel like everyone like is like for, like for not aware of what's been going on. But they're all like, do it. So she said, what can you do? Uh, so she uh, puts the blindfolds on, goes down the line. And gets to Nathan's hands and says, Lucas? Pulls off her blindfold, and it's not Lucas. It's Nathan. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Cut to the next morning. Yeah, yeah, no. That's awkward. We don't like that. Um, so Lucas uh, goes to visit Elizabeth the next morning and is just laughing. He's like, ha. Yeah. Ha. Uh, not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but after the party, she had another conversation with uh, Nathan, didn't she? No, that's the wedding. That's the at the wedding. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. 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 So she has a conversation with Nathan, and basically, we have a wedding first. Who cares? Okay, that's true. But who cares about any of it? Get it right. Florence and Ned get married. Ned's daughter doesn't want him to. They talk some sense into her. They walk down the aisle. It's a thing. Gowan's his best man. All this stuff happened. Brand. What are you doing? I love you, Bran. For some reason, I had down that the conversation happened after the party, but I, I guess... No, that was my whole problem. It's a full weight what for me. Okay, fine. The wedding happens, and then a conversation happens with Nathan, and uh, Nathan's really just continuing, continuing to shoot a shot. Yes. And who can blame the guy? Um, and Rosemary and Elizabeth 
Rosemary goes to talk to him again, and Elizabeth gets upset, and she's like, Rosemary, you should leave. You should leave right now. And then the, it's, that's the end of it. And now, my friends, was win. Call the season, season eight, eight episode, episode nine, nine. Pre-wedding, pre-wedding, pre-wedding jitters. jitters. You you met uh, once again. Chronology's all over the place. The Rosemary comes out when she's talking to. No, this happens multiple Lucas. times. The, the episode ends with her asking Rosemary to leave. The end of the episode is her holding hands with Elizabeth, no. or uh, him holding hands with Elizabeth. Right? No. It isn't. There's another no. scene after that. The episode ends with her asking Elizabeth to leave. Or what, asking Rosemary, Rosemary to leave. Okay. Yes. There's multiple times where, where there's like, tension. Yeah. Where there's tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it yeah. all culminates to this. Ooh, nice use of culminate. Thank you. Let's <laughs> take a quick break. We'll be right back here on Deck the Hallmark. Uh-oh, we're back, everybody. Hey. I love how passionate you guys get with each other about this because you both love it so much. We do. That's why. We love each other. Yeah. I don't know if we love <laughs> it so much, but we do love each other. Well, things are in, things are important. Yeah. And the, this is, I think, at the top of the if list. We're going to talk about like, just a crappy TV show. Like, can we at least do it the, the, the service of saying what happened is all <laughs> I'm saying. Yeah. That's right. And then listen, we agree on that one. Uh, let's uh, break this down. Let's start with a hot take. Jax, what do you think about this episode? I mean, I, I have fun with this show, but <laughs> I think this episode, I think, is a lot of fun because I love the Bachelor Bachelorette party. That's great. And, of course, we've been waiting for Bill to do some investigating again, <laughs> yeah. you guys. Yeah, we sure have. It's madcap comedy. It's fun. He He's in the car. He's putting his leg up. He's doing charades. Molly's guessing his charade, even though no one else could guess his charade. And the last episode was a parade and a charade, so there's some nice follow yeah, yeah, that yeah, there, yeah. making connections. Also... You know, Dan, this is like for the Team Nathan people out there. I, can I just awkward. really quick, this is what happened, Dan. Yeah. You mixed up two episodes. The wedding's not in this episode. The wedding's not in this no, episode? No, only, only the party happens in this episode. Hold on. The, the next wedding e- is the full next episode? Full next episode, episode 10. And we, so we, we're covering three, three episodes. Today. Oh, my. I know. The wedding's not in this episode? The wedding's not in Brand, this episode. I fully apologize. It's okay. It's, it's okay. 100% you had me going me. crazy. Yeah, because she goes outside. She has a conversation with Nathan the you next are day. Right. You are right. I'm wrong. Thank you. She has the conversation with Nathan the next day. Lucas shows up, and it's then Rosemary together. comes over. Yeah, and okay. they have the thing. Got it. Fair enough. Thank you. You're right. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. It's going crazy yeah. here. It's all right. Sorry, Jax. Continue. Oh, Go no, ahead. No, it's okay. I mean, I, I I knew what happened in this episode, but I figured you guys would just work it out eventually. Um, <laughs> Why didn't you say something, Jax? Say something. You can say someone's wrong. It's fine around here. <gasps> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> to be honest, I mean, we. Uh, I, I won't watch the next one until next week. Yeah, right. of course not. But to be honest, the, 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 these these couple here right now are also running together for me a bit. So no, I, I've not. Yeah, no it. kidding. So we had a whole episode yeah. about the pre-wedding. The pre-wedding of- jitters. Right. Yes, oh and the bachelor bachelorette party. And then right. there's a whole episode about their wedding. Yes. yes. What are we doing? Well, I think what you pointed out, Dan, when we were chatting as we were watching was that they asked the actors who played Florence and Ned what they wanted. That's right. And they said more to do. So we're going to put them center stage. Yeah. I mean, look, if I was a series regular on TV show and they asked me that, I would shoot my shot. Like, oh, I've not been doing much for a few seasons. Like, let's give me a big arc. But I thought this episode was a lot of fun. Uh, It's hard to see Elizabeth for me, it's very hard to see Elizabeth being what I think is so unfair to Rosemary when I really value their friendship. And mm-hmm. I think sometimes in shows, like I get, I, I love drama, conflict's great. That's what keeps it all going. But I don't enjoy this conflict. Oh. It's not fun for me. Oh. And I would rather if they didn't explore it. I don't think it adds anything for me. And it what kind of just makes me in particular? Upset. Uh Rosemary and oh, Elizabeth. Okay. It's like when you and I were disagreeing. Yeah. She yeah. didn't like that. Didn't like you that. could see her just like yeah. get quiet. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, you know, divorced parents. What are you gonna do anyway? <laughs> that's my hot take. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so this episode uh it had another moment for me of like what like uh, if I was here in the studio, I I would have gotten out of my seat uh, when the with the hand holding uh, that that was 
another level. I didn't see a guy. I, I just think uh, I feel bad that the, this is the moment where I feel bad for Elizabeth because I feel like like maybe everybody at the party had had one too many and they like were just completely, unaw- completely <laughs> unaware of what this would like. She's a, 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 a widower who's clearly like right now trying to figure out love again. Like that's brutal to throw like, her into that. Why don't they? Why don't we blindfold her and why see don't if we blindfold she can pick her? Out that's a exactly set right. Of hands. And like, if someone maybe had gone up before her and had a funny goof, like maybe it would have yes. been. A little, but like it, it was that it happened so easily for uh, for Florence and Ned. Like, yes, those are Ned's hands. And I mean, granted. That guy, you know, yeah, yeah way older yeah. than the rest of them. Uh, like, yeah, what are you like? Well, it's just not Jesse's hands. That's right, and he's the only one that doesn't like work out in the field, so his hands are probably a little bit softer. I'm yes. just assuming things. Bill Avery has the arthritis, so his yeah, was yeah. That, that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and that arthritis has bothered him nary a second Mm-mm. until this moment. Mm-hmm. I think so. I just felt bad. Like I felt like it was unfair, unfair to her, and also unfair to the the poor Nathan fans that are like. They, I feel like maybe they were getting to the point they were like, okay, it's probably not going to go yeah. our way. And then this episode happens, and the hands hold, and then they have the conversation out there, and he's still shooting a shot. I don't know. It's just uh, it's a lot to handle. And it's I a just, fun game, though. I loved at Bramble Fest when we played where I got yep. to pick out of the seven guys. That's right. Yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. That was, that was really I was pretty fun. good at it, You were actually. really good at that. That's that was right. really good. Um, so, yeah, just a, a sad episode, I think, all around. But an, an, another episode where things are really happening and Tinker's going to tink. Tinker's going to tink. This episode was infuriating and my least favorite of the season. Wait, are you serious? Yes, and I'll give you, I'll tell you why. One, nothing grinds this show to a halt like planning a wedding between just ancillary characters <laughs> holy cow no one cares carson and faith holy cow no one cares and then you know what for eight straight episodes i've been on every episode i'm like team nathan people you need to give it up how could you possibly think and now i get why you're angry mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. there is this is pure you know what? When you got it, when Tinker's going to tink, but clearly he's going to manipulate as well. Because <laughs> when you're when you're swinging for the fences like they are with ridiculous plot like devices and and, and storylines, you can't do this. You can't just f- just fabricate a story that didn't exist. I the more I thought about the reveal at the end of eight of him saying I I you know was supposed to be in Jack's place like. That fundamentally changes that character. And poor Kevin McGarry has been acting for two seasons and all of a sudden now has to give a performance like he's known this the whole time when it was clear that they just wrote that out of thin air. Like none of it feels authentic. None of it feels like it has any integrity. And to somehow, after eight episodes of them going, it's clearly not Nathan, give this weird circumstance where she has to touch his hands and then somehow conjure up this nonsense. Like team Nathan people have a right to be upset because at the end of this episode, they're probably going, see, we, that tortoise in the hair, we knew blah, 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 blocks. deep connect, deep connection. And it's bad television. So I guess actively bad is better than boring. We've had this conversation about Hallmark Christmas movies. We forget the boring movies. We forget the Christmas in loves, the, uh, you know, the Christmas in Montana's. But the actively bad movies are so bad that they become funny. This is more memorable because it is actively undermining every... If I was a hearty... I would feel insulted. Which you are. Super big. Mm-hmm. If I was a Hardy, I would feel like my intelligence was being insulted by what they're th- trying to make us think these characters would do. There is nothing authentic about this. And so, boring, a wedding planning episode, Carson and Faith still talking about the same thing, and then we have a lack of authenticity. Yeah, I was actively angry here. Bad, bad stuff. Can't he's wait a- for the season to be up. He's actively angry, everybody. He's actively angry. Look out. Uh, it's time for the feels part of the show. We talk about what in this episode gave us feels. Jax, anything? I had some feels. Okay. Um, okay. So, <laughs> of course, Bill's investigating. That gives me oh my gosh. feels. Um, I. You don't have to have feels. <laughs> 
No, guys, I enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed this episode. I want to be clear. I, I enjoyed did. it. Okay, I actually did when Florence holds Ned's hands, you guys, and she said, this is my Ned. I like Florence. I like Ned. I got some feels, okay? <laughs> um, and to your, well, both of your points about how this plot line with Faith and Carson has been going round and round. Ugh. Paul Green's character, Carson, says, we've been around this block so many times, I feel lost. They, they sit by the river, he, and he yes. literally says, I feel like we were just here. Just here. Yes. Well, they were. Yes. And yes. I truly, I actually feel for them in the sense that I've been in situations like that where you're like, this is like Groundhog Day. How do I get out of this? But you're so tortured, but you don't want to give up on it. So, yes, my, I, I had feelings of empathy mm. for Carson and Faith. Mm -hmm. those, those are my feels in this episode. Yes. I, uh, I also loved Bill investigating in this episode, but like for like different reasons, this is insane. I'd yes. be concerned it's, if they were for the exact same yes. reason. Yes. When, when <laughs> Bill, when Bill is sitting there and, um, and Ned's like talks about how his, you know, he's been riding with the top down and he goes, riding with the top down, goes into the car, Brings the top back on top of the car because I guess it had been yeah. pulled back. And that, for some reason, is a yeah. revelation for him that allows him to lay down and put his feet and be like, this is the thing. But, like, where are the... I, I was baffled at the whole thing as to why that was the thing that made him finally realize I should lay down. But I, I just... I got a kick out of the whole thing. And this the whole, like, riding with my top down was the thing that... That was like, yes, I loved it. So give me Bill <laughs> investigating things. I'm actually on board with that as much as possible. We also would, be watchable series. Like it's like to see in a different show. Yeah, yeah for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, just angry feels really. Just had angry feels, nothing else. The manipulation on display here was next level. Next level. The conjuring of scenes to try to force fit a narrative was absurd yeah. and it was embarrassing all the way around. At least when they're in Hamilton, like it's just consistently they're in Hamilton and it's bad. Right. This is like, wow. Like just, just couldn't believe it. Wait, I actually did search my heart and find one more. Okay. Okay. When Gowan says everybody deserves a second chance, he was killing it. Right, He's always killing yeah, it. Yeah, I, I do like his, okay. the fact that I don't know how much more of the sun we're going to get is unfortunate because I do think this is, this is peak Gowan since he became good. Yeah. I think peak Gowan is still villain Gowan. When the show has a villain, it's a better show. And th this is peak, second peak. It's like K2. This is like the best version of Gowan where he's not a terrible person. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back here on Deck the Hallmark. We're back. We're talking about Girls of Heart Season 8, Episode 9. Let's get to the Wait What's, and let's start with you, Jax. Anything stick out to you or something that made you say Wait What? Yeah. Um, I do not know where Elizabeth gets off asking Rosemary if she encouraged Nathan. She says no. She didn't. Yeah, right. Why are you mad? You can't just go around being mad to the person who's actually, like, cares for your child no kidding but all the time yes for free she's paying laura right. i'm i hope so you would hope so you yeah. would hope school teacher salary private school teacher salary. Private school teacher salary so i was outraged by that also the, the hands thing so hands are a really big deal to me i know that i'm very attracted if i'm dating someone or courting someone or they're courting me i the hands are so important i cannot believe you would mess that up wow would you okay. guys mess that up I honestly have, I don't know. Yeah. I, Are you I, serious? I, I would hope that I wouldn't mess I, up. I would hope this, not, but like, I, long, but I, I don't like, I'm, I, I, I've never been put in this situation. I've, I've never, never been, yeah. I, I it's have. It's terrifying to think if you got, like, if you found. My so, wife's like, hands are the only hands that I've ever held. That's, so, yeah, so I do think that so I, beautiful. Yeah. So, I do think that yeah. I would know. There is, there's that aspect of it. But like, the thing about it is if you take Ned and jack wagner out of the equation all those other guys are roughly the same size so yeah. like but ones are like softer yeah, yeah, yeah. and warmer but like if you like, it like i would like to think but well, most of those guys only, work with their hands i've literally only held my wife's hands for 21 years right 
I would like to think blindfolded in a line of <laughs> of of seven or eight women that are all are roughly the same size, the same size hands that I could pick them out. Pick them but I don't know. I, I just don't know the answer to that. That's terrifying that I would get it wrong. That you yeah. would get, I mean. The pressure. The yeah. pressure. I guess I was just gobsmacked at that and then i think my my especially since one, one of them's a bartender one of them's a mountie that chops wood yes that's the thing where i'm like you're a doofus yeah like just a there's little like, no way those two guys hands no. she's only held one of their hands yeah right. and lucas's hands i feel like would be a bit more delicate yeah i enjoy that yeah <laughs> and let me just say um and then my final wait what which i think you boys might have disagreed because we were watching this together um when clara comes in and thinks that they are eating the food for the party. Right. And she gets a little upset, but it, it's, you know, she doesn't rage or anything. She's justifiably upset thinking they're eating the food because they're munching away and the food is right on the table. And she has a little bit of a, you know, a suki la la about it. And then a what? A, 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 a suki la la. It's like a, it's like a, a Australian expression for like, no, having a little a bit of a wine. Suki la la. <laughs> A of, I learned something new. I'm sure so tell much. me that's not going to yeah, come back. Yeah, I've been saying Sucky La La for a long time. Different context. <laughs> <laughs> what? Trace, I don't even need to know. Yeah, you know. We have Sucky La La Thursdays <laughs> at Fitzy's. I don't know what she's talking about. Sucky La La. I, I hope I didn't mess that up. I think that's what it's called. But Urban Dictionary <laughs> says otherwise. Uh, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Someone corrections corner that. But I, they act. Right. Hickam and Jesse oh my gosh. act so gosh darn wounded. I've never seen something like that where they're like, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Are you kidding me? Grow up, have a laugh about it, eat your pie, and move on. And she's profusely apologizing like she just shot a dog. Thank you. I, my thing so is this mad. is, do I think the initial reaction was like, do I think she could have come in and go, what are you guys doing? Like, could I think she could have done that? Sure, yeah. You I, know what, Dan? You're right, because she should always expect the best of Jesse. But but my th <laughs> my problem is, my problem is, is that Jesse has lost them <laughs> tens of thousands of dollars, and they all they did was they tried to get Claire to make a mistake. And her big mistake was raising her voice because she thought they were eating food she prepared for a party that's not a thing like that's barely that barely registers on the radar that's like a one of ten that's like a, you know what i probably shouldn't have overreacted there yeah maybe at maybe. best and they are acting like man well now we're even <laughs> now we're even you know i did lose fifty thousand dollars uh in 1918 but you just got upset because you thought I was doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. Thought I was eating the pie. You thought oh, I was eating we're the pie. Even. And you know I like sweets, and you thought I was eating the pie for the party, but it was just regular pie. It was regular pie. Not pie it for the regular party, pie. regular pie. Uh, is that it? That is it. Nathan is in the library. They're all shocked by this. And uh, Rosemary's in there as well. And he says this line, which is, uh, I don't even, he says, most of the books I've read were written by men. But many by women. Yeah. No, no, no. He's not bright. Most of the books were written by men. But, but many, many by women. By, but many of the most yeah. were written by most women. Most of the meals I eat are unhealthy, but many, many are, are healthy. healthy. Can't there is most and many no. those are ba you know bo basically the same thing. So I don't know. Um, how did Lee? get the job of picking the pastor because I don't think there's a person on this show that is more uncomfortable talking about anything faith related. Yeah. He's not a religious he, I don't guy. Think he's a religious guy. Yeah. A every time he's talking about it, it feels so weird and uncomfortable. It doesn't seem like he's Who's enjoying this at all right now. I don't think they have one. I don't know. They're Abigail was the mayor and she left to tend to her rowing scholarship and she oh. she i don't like i like there's not been a like a replacement yeah, i don't i don't is know she's still sure. the acting mayor from afar from at sea there's sure. an election coming up eventually yeah sure oh, there is um okay. but okay. to that okay. to that lee and uh for you. <laughs> lee and joseph are in the uh the the the, the stagecoach taking a little wagon ride and uh lee says lee says you're an answer to prayer no pun intended I don't know. That, I heard no pun intended and wrote it down. It's not a pun. It's not, not a, pun. a pun. It's funny, you know, it's, it, I guess. But, but, but like, 
Yeah, a There's pastor no being an answer to prayer is not a pun. It's just a thing a that thing it is that people would that say would, would and, be and it, no pun intended. They believe in prayer and believe that this was an answer to yeah. a prayer. Yeah, it's and not a pun. It's not a pun. It's just a is. It is what it, it is. is. It is. It's uh, an is. Last but not least, it's a, la it's a silky la la. <laughs> last but not least, I think this is one that someone can actually answer for me. But I I I heard it and I I I spent way too much time diagramming it. <laughs> Um, many is talking about tea and she said, so, so they're like many, um, are we going to do low tea or high tea? And she says, low tea is for mid afternoon. High tea is for late afternoon. So what about the tea in the morning or in the evening? What is that I think called? It's the time of day, like when the clock is low versus high or the tide is low but, versus high. Those but, are my only two guesses. I know nothing. But I just want to like, so this, this low tea and high tea, by my guesstimation, based off of her explanation, that low tea and high tea accounts for six hours in a day. So I mean, low tea is versus not. Do you know low T no, is? I I actually thought the same thing, and I it, I I because she's just process. talking about afternoon here. Yeah, she says low tea is mid afternoon, mm -hmm. high tea is late afternoon. That's six hours. That's like from yeah. noon to three is low, three to six seven is is high. What about the rest of the day? People have tea in the morning. What's that called? Is that morning, just regular tea. morning tea? Morning tea and then evening but tea. Low tea was intended as a light snack to tide someone over until dinner. High tea was an energy-packed meal designed to sustain those who'd worked all day long. Hmm. That's why. So both in the afternoon, one is a tide me over. Okay. The other is you don't have time to eat. This has got some hearty. Mm. Wow, okay. There you okay. have it. I just still want to know about the rest of the day, but that's fine. That's right. No, no, no. I, that, that, I learned something new. I, 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 I had full... Uh, I don't know, uh, confidence that she was correct in this. I just had more questions about the rest of the day. That's just how my <laughs> I brain works. I can't drink tea any other time. Like, this is I, I, you know, people drink tea in the morning. What's that called? Mor morning tea? I don't know. Morning English tea. breakfast tea. English breakfast. A lot, lot of tea conversation. Dan? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I only have one left that was okay. not already said. Um, they Before they eat the food that, that Clara thinks is for the party, uh, old... Uh, What's his name? You know his name. Jesse and, Jesse and Baxter Clara. Bunkster. Oh. Baxter Bunkster. Oh, um, Hickam. Mike Frickham, Hickam. Yeah, Hickam. Frickham Hickam. Hickam and Hickam. Jesse walk in, and Hickam says, I've always wondered what it'd be like to live above the cafe. <laughs> and Jesse says, you're about to find out. <laughs> what the H, Hallmark? <laughs> in, in what universe do those two people say those two lines... You don't have to live above a cafe to eat a snack. <laughs> to eat snacks that you can buy at a cafe. Are the only people that are good bakers, do they all live above cafes? I'll give it to you, Dan. That is a stupid That line. is god That awful. is weird. That I always wonder what, like what it would be like to live, live above the cafe. You're about to find <laughs> out. But You've here, never eaten snacks like these before. But here's the what thing. What are you talking about? Here's why the whole thing with Claire is annoying. Because they say that line looking at all of the food that is for the bachelor and yes. bachelorette party. Thank you, thank you. And then they, they he says, you're going to find out, though. But not really, because they're going to go actually over and get the pie that everybody else can have right now. That's right. And so then, they're just eating it back there instead of out there. Lastly, it, it is the cafe pie. That's right. It's not the same. It's not the special stuff that's only that, for that back there. Make, Minnie made it. Right. And then lastly, Jesse and Claire don't even live above the cafe anymore, do no, they? No, they don't. No. It's what it's no, one don't. of the most just godforsaken scenes of television I've ever seen. I always wondered though, personally, what it would be like. <laughs> what what would it be like cafeteria? to live above a pizzeria? You're about to find out. Have Dude. a slice. Oh man, pizza. it's different. It's different when you eat it behind the curtain. It's different. It tastes That's different. That's like uh, it's a, different. a kid I taught in seventh grade one time said he, she was from Texas and she said, "Mr. Thompson, you've not lived until you've had a rib from Texas Roadhouse in Texas." Yeah. Oh, yeah. what a sweet baby angel. Sweetie. And maybe she's right, have you? Uh, I have not. So then you don't know. But I feel pretty good it's about just tough. Restaurants. It's just tough to want to go to a it's Texas Roadhouse. You've had salad and breadsticks in an olive garden in Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia. Touche. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. These are breadsticks. <laughs> Manja. <Yeah. laughs> Susu Lala, what'd you say? Sukilala. 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 
Sookie Law. Dan, anything else? That's it. Uh, let's talk about the hopes and valleys. Anything giving you hope or maybe bumming you out? Um, Bumming me out is that I'm going to have to see my boy Lucas, I think, go through some weird stuff because I, <laughs> one of these, uh, one of the lines. It's going to be a goth it's, face. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> He's got the hair Wake straight there. Wake me up! Wake me up inside! Can't wake up! I think that's what's coming! Save me! <laughs> He's in there. Fists are clenched. Save me! That's what he's doing. So well, great. He, sa- he says to Elizabeth, Hey, Nathan Grant! <laughs> <laughs> Nathan's dead! Nathan! <laughs> he- <laughs> you guys. He says to Elizabeth, so what did you say to Nathan when he told you that he loves you again? No. Like he's going through all this <laughs> over and over again. And at this point, it's comedic at how Elizabeth is just like, oh, you know, like kind of uh, lets it go every yeah. time. So that that conversation, can I have to be honest with you? Yeah. Like, I think this is the time to, they're past this point, right? Yes. Like, should be. They're past this point. Like, Elizabeth, like, he, him, I don't know. The, the, the fact that another guy is continuing to tell her that he loves her while they've held hands, sat next to each other, they are a thing now, they're right? Thing. Yes. So, like, I don't know. I think it, it is okay. Like, I know this whole thing is that he's patient, but I, like, if I'm, if I'm Lucas, I'm going up to Nathan being like, dude, like. Can you back can off? Can we back? Like, yes. We're. I don't know. Or I, or I would I would argue that the responsibility is with Elizabeth to mm. set clear boundaries. Well, this is why I but think li- But Elizabeth thinks that she has. That's the thing. That's She's like, terrible. I've already told that's him bad. to back do off. Do you think that or do you I, think she kind of knows that she I, has it? Yeah. Yeah. I, Elizabeth is I, the, I don't, is the don't make me sing of relationship decisions. Like she is just like mm. wanting but here's the attention, the thing. But wanting if, to keep waffling, I wanting that. So. And you know what? This is why I don't mind that she ends up with Lucas because Lucas has been the only one in the show. You can say whatever you want. Nathan should have seen that she has said no, at least with her actions and with her words, even though the, one of the words wasn't no. She did basically intimate the fact that this wasn't a relationship uh like a like a legit and, an, and in front of everybody she said granted had the wrong hands but she <laughs> said the name lucas, lucas. and so i think at this her point love. the fact that he keeps pursuing is not okay i think she is being not okay by allowing that to happen and, and like continuing to like lean into it lucas is the only one that's been above board in this whole thing that's gonna make a lot of people happy <laughs> I mean, McGarry's, I see you, I love you, I hear you. Uh, also, um, I don't want anyone mad at me. No, no, no. I'm Jack. <laughs> um, <laughs> bring it back to my divorced parents, JK. Uh, anyway, love but them. also what I'm hopeful for is I think I might be alone in this that I'm looking forward to the wedding. What wedding? The, the wedding that we thought already God. happened. <laughs> what wedding? So yeah, I probably The wedding that Dan this. thought it already happened. So, Brandon, are you looking forward to the wedding? I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I hope there's trumpets and pianos. Uh, there's no way there'll be a trumpet. No, surely not. Not <laughs> at definitely a, not, not a piano. A, not at a wedding. I yeah. don't know. Um, I think the thing that is giving me hope is you know what? I'm no hope, but only bumming. The I, I only bumming. I'm I'm frustrated that we are just now getting to this point to where. I actually think that Nathan has a shot. Like I, I, this is the episode where things seem to change a little bit with the conversation that happened after the hand holding, where it's like she didn't fully close the door. I felt like yep. in that conversation. And now we and got so, three episodes. Now we got three episodes, and it's like we've had this whole thing, and it's like okay, now here's my chance. And now knowing that that doesn't happen, I'm. I think I'm just frustrated at that at that point. I'm yeah. frustrated. My, I just have valleys as well. One is, is that I can't believe the wedding hasn't happened yet. <laughs> and two, I can't believe that this Elizabeth Nathan thing is happening as well. And I think it's terrible. And I think it shows a lack of integrity by pretty much everyone involved. Not Tink. That not, yes, Tink. Even Tink, believe it or not. Even. But when Tinker's you swing to the fences, tink. sometimes you strike out, Brian. Tinker's going to Tink. Yeah. Home run. <laughs> All right. Whatever you say, buddy. Uh, we did it, everybody. Congratulations. We got a What's Calling My Heart Day? We sure do. You can email us, hello at deckthehallmark.com. Like, if you were listening right now, we'd need probably at least 
two more before our next uh, recording oh. session. Oh, okay. You know, great. You, you know, we got we so. got we got three left or so. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, this is from Fab Math Teacher, whom I believe is Tracy, Tracy Perry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she starts the email off with a giant hello with hello. all caps, a lot of E's and L's and O's. Hello. Uh, thank you for watching all the wind calls and hard. So I don't Shut have up. to, I just, I tried to start when y'all started reviewing it, but I just couldn't get through the first episode and knew it would be horrible trying to watch them all. Thank you for your service to the DTH community. You're welcome, Tracy. What's calling my heart? As the school year is about to begin, well, this is weird because it's all must be an old email. yeah it must, it must be, be one an of these uh, yeah. or it could be like one of those schools that you know is a oh, and, alternate mm -hmm. and <laughs> yeah uh, I'm currently sitting in our three hour welcome back to school staff meeting ugh only wanting to break ice if it involves a cocktail instead of the icebreakers classic knowing that I have a student this year that will test every bit of my patience and I will probably it will probably drive me to drink more the summer school stories I have about this kid woof. Summers later, and she's yeah. in Nova Scotia or somewhere. Yeah. And, <laughs> and mentally making a list of all the things uh, needed to be completed before students show up for their first day. I have Bramble Fest to look forward to. She's talking about next, next year's, year's fest, which yeah. we already did yeah. on, on the redacted date. Uh, <laughs> Uh, our crazy, wacky group of double-deckers brings me so much joy and happiness. Sure, my family and friends think I might have joined a cult, but I've convinced them that it is okay for me to travel by myself to meet up with my online friends. We wouldn't have ever met if it weren't for you, so thank you. As I get into school, the school year with all the ups and downs that come with it, I know that the podcast and our Facebook group have made uh, will have me laughing and smiling just when I need it. Have a great week, and Jax, you really need to watch The Princess Bride. Blessings. Hey. Tracy has a last name. I like what she did there, there as go. well. There you go. Nicely done, Tracy. Thank Hello you so at much. Hello at if you want to get that email. And we did everybody. We're going to be back next week with another one. Until then, maybe the first to wish you a Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Homework is the That Sounds Fun podcast. It's produced by Tracy Nellis name. It's recorded live in, yeah, that Greenville, South Carolina. For more information on Deck the Homework, you can go to deckthehomework.com. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here at the studio. Feel free to listen. Feel free to turn it off, whatever you want to. But either way, Thanks so much for your support.